Hi guys, uh, welcome to Refer UX. Myself Nimesh. Today, let's see how to install and set up Damn Vulnerable Web Application, aka DVWA, in Kali Linux environment. When come to DVWA, it's uh, or, uh, people call it as Damn Vulnerable Web Application. It's an open source web application designed. Uh, to be vulnerable, of course, uh, which is aiding for security professionals to test their skills and tools in a legal environment. This DBWA is a PHP-based web application, uh, which is running, which is using MySQL database as well as Apache server to execute their programs. Why we use Kali environment? because Kali environment is equipped with its own uh, set of tools to conduct penetration testing and other required security testing on web application, just like brute force attacks, like verb suites. Uh, hence, it's really easy if you can install DVWA on Kali environment itself. Hence, this video focuses on installing and set up DVWA on Kali environment. So let's begin. Okay, um, first uh, let me open the uh, terminal and uh, then I'll change my directory uh, to the uh, folder where uh, Apache uh, uh, the uh, default directory uh, where slash uh, uh, www.html and then I will uh, Install. I'll download the uh, uh, relevant direct uh, relevant files uh, using um, uh, typing uh, dvwa github. Then you can go to uh, this uh, first link and uh, to the uh, damn vulnerable web application. Then you can uh, go to cloning and you can uh, select the uh, link. Uh, then you can type git paste, then you can uh, write, it uh, is not an internal command, let's, let's install that, it's a, it's a, you can install immediately, that won't be any issue. Right, it is installed. Right, it's done. Then we'll run the uh, PVS command. Oops. Uh, it's not a it's not a git command. All right. Uh, it says that. Um, I'm sorry. It says the command issue. It should be git clone this, and that's how it uh, it's uh, getting downloaded. It's it's already downloaded. I'll clear the screen and I'll check the folders. We have C. You see, you can see that DWWA, DVWA has been filed there. I'll change it. First, moving to that, let me change the uh, 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 what do you call uh, rights uh, to this uh, folder. I'll give full rights. Uh, it's ch uh, uh, mod uh, to this one. It's a two mod and uh, seven, seven, seven to this. But, all right, then uh, I'll go this to the inside this file and I can see uh, I can see a set of uh, 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 inside there are a couple of other files. I'll move on to config file actually. Uh, this one, then I'll go into the CD uh, config. Should be a uh, config. And I can see uh, there's a one file called php.pis, this is original. Uh, configuration file of the CD DVWA. We have to create a backup for that so that I'll uh, re, uh, I'll fix another file, uh, something like uh, this. To, um, again, uh, but uh, in this time, we are removing the .bist uh, extension. We keep only .php extension only. Then I'll uh, let's enter, then I can see, we can see there are two files there. And I'll open uh, the new uh, leak created PHP configuration file using GEDIT text editor. All right, then you can see a couple of uh, configurations are there. We are focusing only these two configurations. 
we will change this username as user you can put to any anyone i'll put easy for the easy case user and here the password is ba double this pass very easy to remember and i will uh, save it and i will close it all right we are done at that point then what i'm going to do is uh, i will uh, clear the screen for you then i will uh, go to the uh, main uh, uh, root mode then uh, let's uh, configure the database because here uh, we to run the dvwa we, uh, we are using apache server as a server as well as the database as mysql uh, to do go to go there first let's uh, run the start the service first service mysql service mysql and start all right uh, if you get this kind of a, a response without any error, which means you are good to go, then uh, I will start uh, creating the database uh, parameters. So the commands are MySQL, I log to MySQL uh, uh, database first with the user u, root, and the password. Uh, in my case, let's say. All right, because uh, it should be there's no password because uh, I haven't set any password for my SQL. Just uh, the, I will look as the root user. All right, then um, I will create a user. It's uh, the creating the username is uh, create uh, create user and uh, the username shall be user. Uh, the, this should be exact uh, what you have entered into PHP. Uh, configuration file uh, it should be at the, the uh, in my local host so that's a 001 and the password is entered as identified identified by what is the password ba it's so very simple create user uh, within colon uh, user that is my username at php file at 127.0.0.1, that is my local host, identified by me the, the password parameter. The password is Hans. So I will press enter. Again, enter. Uh, uh, there's, uh, there's one parameter missing. I forgot to put the semicolon. After that, it is uh, it, it got the uh, correct uh, information. The next one, I, will, I need to grant all the uh, 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 privileges to do that i will type pre, uh, the grant old privileges uh, uh, right it's privileges uh, on dbwa and uh, the, the user shall be uh, before that i need to give all the privileges that is very uh, uh, dot star, which means all the table and all the content under the DVW will be uh, a given parameter um, to the uh, user here. The user at one two uh, user at okay, colon one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and identified by the password. Yes. So here, uh, and natural should be a semicolon. Oops, semicolon, which means grant all privileges on uh, DVWA for uh, direct queue, what are all the tables and everything to the user uh, located at localhost, and the password is passed. If you remember, this user and pass are the two parameters we set in the PHP file uh, of the configuration, and then uh, we will uh, again press enter. It's a uh, Oops, there's a syntax error. Uh, there it says uh, the syntax by uh, line one saying you have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the manual that corresponds to your server syntax use in your. Oops, there's one thing is missing. That is, uh, we have to say uh, it should be two here, 
provides this is two so when you give, uh, when you give that is uh, you have to give uh, grant all the privileges on dbw to user this one and password all right that is how i did what i was so about that and that's all we can simply exit this now we have set all the username and password and we have configured simply this your server for this thing and i'll clean this screen for you all right now only one thing is uh, missing the first we have uh, download the dbw file then we compile or configure the database now we have to configure the server just to check two parameters whether we have uh, correctly uh, set first of all let me uh, restart uh, uh, service uh, uh, service uh, apache 2 apache 2 start and uh, all right then second one, I need to uh, go to this uh, PHP uh, location, PHP, and uh, I think 7.3. In your case, also the same thing. Uh, if it is different, you have to uh, you have to uh, change uh, change uh, these parameters accordingly. Apache version as well as PHP version. Then uh, let me check the files inside. You have to configure this PHP.ini file. Uh, there, I'll use the editor uh, tabs editor again, and uh, this is PHP ini. And you can see uh, these uh, two parameters which says um, uh, let me go there, let me go there. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Here, here, this two. Allow URL open and allow URL input. So both should be on. Uh, for your information, the numbers on this one shall be number 853 and 857. Both should be uh, on, on. So sometimes this is, as I mentioned, this is by default off, so it should be on. Okay. Then uh, I'll save it. I'll close it. Save it. Then I uh, close it. Right. Now uh, everything we have done, and it's all about uh, now uh, Apache uh, to restart. So what I'm going to do is I will uh, I will uh, the command. I'll restart the Apache server. Cool. Now uh, let me uh, access this using uh, my local host uh, and uh, the directory would be dbwa so if you get this screen which have uh, which means you have successfully configured your uh, dbwa installation and you can see like a couple of such other parameters uh, all the things we have said so the first thing first you have to set the or create or reset the database you have to click that and that's all you have to do and your database is successfully uh, created now only thing is uh, and after you did it if you have done successfully this should automatically prompt you to this login page the login page shall be uh, admin and the password is password the default is the password and voila you have successfully installed dbwa on kali linux machine If you want to try something else also let me show whether it works um, to get this IP address it is 145 so I will say to 
192.68.176.145 and it shall be uh, T V W and through your IP address also you can access this one and uh, that's really important if you want uh, 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 to use a uh, root root as access testing using uh, using uh, a software like uh, software like uh, what do you call uh, verb switch admin and password and that's it and you can see that there's a couple of other uh, vulnerable applications you can test here like brute force and also you can uh, set your security level to uh, a low level submit and maybe a medium to uh, a high and each and every scenario you will have uh, different different uh, settings here you can try them so that's all about uh, installation on uh, DBW way damn web vulnerable web application on Kali Linux. In this video, we learn how to install and set up DBWA, that is damn well vulnerable web application in Kali Linux environment. If you learn something out of it, please like and subscribe. If you want to know future videos, please do subscribe to us. Till we meet again, have a great time.